Hello, I'm Stuart Beach, and today I'm going to be um, discussing my research project on customer privacy. So I chose this topic because I think customer privacy is a really important thing. Um, every day it's harder and harder to have privacy online um, using the internet in every sense. Um, targeted advertising is more and more common. Um, smart home devices that are constantly listening to us are also very common. Um, and I think uh, privacy is really important and I think everyone it's something that everyone should have. So my first argument is that some people believe that companies should be allowed to collect their personal data if it means that they can get special deals or coupons based on um, certain items that they're known to buy frequently. Um, this is, I do believe that this is fair, but I believe that um, customers that are shopping at stores or shopping at certain brands should have an option to either opt in or opt out of these. They shouldn't just automatically have their data stored every single time they buy something. Um, I think that's really invasive and personal. Um, and a lot of people don't want to have um, their data just taken without um, their consent first. For example, in some grocery stores, they use a system of barcodes where each customer scans a barcode before checking out, um, and it signs into their account with the grocery store um, and can give them customized coupons and personalized offers um, based on their account um, because they've chosen to have their data um, stored in the company's uh, databases. So my second argument is that some people believe that companies deserve to store their data because they buy things from that company or because they use the services of that company. Um, so for example, uh, a lot of Apple customers trust Apple and believe that they will keep their data secure and won't sell it for uh, just a small amount of money like some companies do. Um, but this isn't fair because while there are people that do trust companies with their information, there are a large majority of people that do not trust companies with their uh, information and they believe that uh, they shouldn't be tracked for everything that they do. So for example, Google stores a lot of its users' information. It stores everything from the YouTube videos that they watch to the uh, things that they've shopped for online. And Google uses a lot of their information to try and sell more products to their users by tar using targeted advertising. And a lot of people are uncomfortable with that because they feel like their entire lives are being tracked by Google and being shared with tons of companies without their permission. Another great example of this would be Facebook. So for example, Facebook users are willingly giving away their information because it is a social media site and they expect it to be private and they expect their data to only be shared with their friends and family that are also using the site. However, Facebook sells their information to companies and uses targeted advertising to try to make more money off of them. Um, instead of just showing them random ads and random products, they can specifically target individual customers to their individual likes and dislikes, which makes a lot of people uncomfortable because they feel like they're just being used as a source of unjust revenue. So my third argument um, is that a lot of people feel like trying to have privacy on the internet nowadays is pointless and that everything is stored and that really there's no point in trying to have privacy. But I disagree with this. There are still people that believe that they can have privacy and they still try to have their privacy. And to prove this, there are even companies that are trying to market cut their customers' privacy to get new customers because there are so many people that feel that their privacy is important and they value that when they're using a company or using a service from a company. For example, in 2015, there was a list of customer names stolen from the Ashley Madison website, which is a website for affairs. And while there are people that obviously don't care about that, the people that use the site trust that site for their privacy and for the anonymity of the service that they provide. And the fact that the site didn't have good data security left customers feeling as though they had been betrayed by the company itself. Another great example of this would be the company JotForm, who before writing their customer agreement policy that most people just say yes to without reading or going through, decided to contact their customers and ask them what they valued and what they found important before writing the customer agreement policy. By doing this, they not only strengthen their customer relations, but they also help to brand themselves and stick in their customers' minds as a company that really values their customers and their privacy and their values. So for my final argument, I wanted to say that companies shouldn't collect their customer data without permission because it's morally wrong and it's really invasive of their privacy. 
when a multi-billion dollar company is specifically targeting individual customers and selling customer information just to make even more money than they're already making, um, it's really wrong and really creepy, honestly, that they do those things. This individual customer targeting and targeted advertisements can even cause problems. For example, there was a teenage girl shopping at Target, and the products that she bought caused Target to believe that she was pregnant, and because of this, they sent specific advertisements in the mail to her house, and her parents saw these advertisements targeted to pregnant women, and it caused a bunch of embarrassment and problems for her that wouldn't have even taken place if Target hadn't targeted her as being a pregnant person. Another example of this would be the nearly 115,000 signatures on a petition demanding that Google stop searching its customers' emails to search for keywords to deliver targeted advertisements to them. This huge demand of Google to stop searching through its customers' personal information shows the vast amount of people that want privacy and that value their privacy. Finally, why does this matter? I believe that this matters because privacy should be a basic human right that shouldn't be so easily violated by giant multi-billion dollar companies. People deserve to have their privacy and shouldn't have their personal information sold for pennies by already giant corporate enterprises. Second, what can you do to keep your privacy on the internet? By only using companies and services that are highly trusted by their customers, you can ensure that your information and personal data will be safe on the internet. Avoid having accounts on sites such as Facebook and Google as they are known for storing lots of their customers' data and using it immorally. Also, is a lack of privacy really worth it? This is really just a matter of personal opinion. I personally believe that a lack of privacy is not worth its few benefits, other than po possibly receiving a few discounts or coupons. A lack of privacy on the internet doesn't have that many benefits and is overall a bad thing.